can be going on in the sleepy old town of Ramsgate on Bellevue Road. Oh, look, we have the front room. My little gallery. And for the next two weekends, we have the work of Brian Bushell, BJ Bushell, at the front room. Bonjour, bonjour. I'm, com I'm coming especially from France for this exhibition because uh, because I like it and I want to ask questions to Brian, Brian Bushell. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, go for it. What questions? Um, uh, uh, don't start. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> what question? Uh, uh, first of all, uh, it seems to be linked by a, some sort of technical approach. Uh, could you talk more about what? your technique or what you do when you paint is it really using brush or what is your purpose um, I you use do? a credit card use so a credit card scrape back out paint black and then paint something over the top scrape back out so yes. that's mean that you've got always two layers of painting one yeah, which two, is uh, three layers two, three layers first yeah. one is dry and then you put another Ooh, layer on it yeah and then, scrape and then you see so uh, then why, why, why do you use a credit card? Because uh, it's more exciting than using a brush. Okay, but it can be... Because you don't know what's going to happen. The first mark will dictate what it's going to be. Yeah. Okay, so then you, you put all the light from your painting, from pressing it to more, and then you, you adjust your movement for the volume, for the light and everything? Yeah, see, sorry. Okay press harder you get back to the background and then just lighter you get all these tones which with a brush would take you forever mm. well it would take me forever anyway other people might be able to do it okay and it makes painting more exciting because i don't know what's going to happen so so unless to put more you 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 take the things take it off, off, off. Yeah. yeah just trying to capture a feeling that's all and then maybe a silence or, well, no, I just, well, I just go in the studio. I work from midnight to six in the morning. So no one's around. I don't have to answer telephones. I don't have to do anything. So I just mess about, <laughs> really. I found the first one really. I didn't know this one. It's quite yeah, it's a new one, that yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. Is it a window crying? Or? Yeah, it's a yeah, it's, it's a, crying a died of the light sort of from thing. From in front of a melancholic woman. Yeah. Uh, I no idea where mm -hmm. that came from. It just arrived. Just yeah. arrived. So you've been di dictated by the painting itself. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Uh, influenced by the color as well. And I'm yeah. using color, which I mainly black and white. Yeah. At the moment, I'm using color, which is unusual. Because I always find color influences you. As soon as you look at a picture and it's got color in it, it will emotionally affect you. Red will affect you one way, green or another way. So that's why I painted mainly in black and white and very monotone, if I can do it. Yeah. So you're only affected by the image. You're not affected so much by the colour. But now I'm getting older, I'm using colour for which uh, God knows why. <laughs> I like it though. A bit frosty? Yeah, frosty, very mm -hmm. frosty, with luck, yeah. Um, yeah, no idea. And I just paint. Uh, <laughs> you got, there is a special relationship between the subject and uh, uh, and the uh, uh, expression, to, I find the, the way it's done. I mean, for this one, I saw solitude, frozen, like getting weak, and uh, and uh, still having some uh, energy to stand. 
<laughs> yeah, you are just a frozen, at the moment. <laughs> like frozen in the frost. Yeah, and, yeah uh, I don't know. I never thought about it. And those frost. wave are like uh, crystal wave. Yeah. Falling over just, you yeah, in the grey sky. Capture something, yeah. And I and I spent all night attempting to do that. One night, I was my finish a painting. Yeah, there's a feeling on the, all those ones. Yeah, it's sorry, it's just a feeling. Uh, yeah, well, you lose the feeling. Mm. Could you tell us more, um, if it's possible, uh, uh, from uh, who who's artists uh, or who, uh, who influenced you to use the credit card as an, uh, uh, tools for paint and having everything as the light and the and the shape and the uh, uh, straight to go by the technique of using scraping painting. Yeah, scraping paint. I don't know. I don't know it. I, I use card and it used to break up on me. Credit card is solid, so you can really attack the canvas or, or the, the board. It's all, all oil paint. I only painted oil paint. Did you remember first time you used the credit card in one of your uh, work or <laughs> when it happened, do you remember? Huh? About 10 years ago I started and it's using it, because you make a mark, you don't know what's going to happen. The first mark will dictate whether it's going to be a landscape of dead animal or a figure. It just arrives out of that first mark, yeah. So. God knows, so I have a clue. I just go in, paint, and that's it. Yeah. And put music on. Uh, well, I put sound on, not music. You know. Nothing with beats, just abstract sound. Uh, to visit your your exhibition tonight, I just uh, have the. I don't know. I know. I know this. I read this. Um, uh, it was an illustration, I think. Writer Thomas Bernard or Thomas Bernard. Uh -huh. Uh, for um, uh, one of the f uh, his first book, uh, which is it's called um, uh, in French Le Gel, uh, I think in English it's The Frost. Or oh, like yeah. that. So it's a story between, uh, for, if there is a story, uh, but a story, a relationship between uh, one old guy who is all lonely but in the emptiness of cold in a really r rough area of workers uh -huh. uh, in the middle of the mountain. Uh, where there is a lot of snow and uh, yeah. it's fr freezing, and uh, the ocean ship. And he, uh, call, he called that feeling. He got that work. feeling of yeah. uh, uh, some sort of loneliness uh, uh, and cruelty in a certain way because he see uh, behind the uh, apparent straight away to the bones of the thing. Uh, yeah, I'm not, going, I'm not going for cruelty. Uh, <laughs> it's not cruelty, but in a certain way, of there is no cheating, there is no fancy representation. It's going right through the bones of reality. Which yeah, is, try uh, to capture. Yeah, yeah. More. Just a feeling. So it, uh, this guy is like this. So this yeah. is a um, really interesting uh, novel as well, uh, using the. Um, that it's a really interesting way to read or uh, write from Thomas Bernard, yeah. who was a great writer. One American, Morris Graves, he did this bird with a blind bird with light around it. And when I saw it, I went, ah. And it took me ages to not to try to do that, you know, but I want that feeling, easy to get a feeling into the work, you know. Yeah, but <coughs> he went off to Japan and worked in Japan, then came back and did all this. But uh, anyway. But yeah, but it's a frozen moment in a certain way. There are, it's a, a frozen moment for a lot of your painting, is it? Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. the idea of a frozen moment. Not, uh, I mean, uh, there is some sort of texture. We just create this sort of um, um, time, you understand? Yeah, uh, right, just a moment. But just, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just paint. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, really uh, difficult to explain. No, yeah. and uh, um, there is a lot of um, some sort of expression of a solitude in your work, is it? Or? Uh, yeah, I suppose so, yeah. I try to get silence in a lot of the work, you know, so it isn't shouted at you, it uh, drags you in. You have, to st you have to stand and look at my work, not, you know, just go, oh, you know, it pulls you. I, want, I hope it pulls you in, that's what I want it. 
I want that, want to happen when people look at the work and pull you into the work. You know. Have you got a relationship with Japanese art? Um, well, I do like Zen, that um, capturing a moment. Mm. That's what I try to do. Mm. Try to capture a moment. But you're always <coughs> capturing a moment of of something uh, subconscious. Uh, subconscious, <laughs> and also there is a lot of skeleton or dead animals. Uh, into dead your, animals uh, fascinate me because then they're dead, but they haven't quite gone yet. Uh, they haven't disappeared completely. So I'm trying to put them, keep them, but somehow hold that moment of going. And, you know. Um, I'm delighted to have Brian Bushell uh, return with his paintings. The exhibition's open uh, today, Saturday the 9th and Sunday the 10th of December and the 16th and 17th of December from 11 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock. Don't miss it. See you there.